All right, it's your girl Kia from Worldviews, and I'm here to tell you how you can start your business in Kenya through our local company, Views of Africa. So we're here on our main page, Worldviews. Click the business tab. Once you click the business tab, it will redirect you to our Views of Africa page. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find our Views of Africa Business Center. We offer three standard business packages. We have our Deluxe, Royal, and VIP. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Rwanda. Rwanda is ready to impose tax for people that want to watch Netflix. Let me review this article from African News. We'll come back and discuss. Rwanda is the latest African country to announce plans to tax online service consumed within the country. This comes a few months after Zimbabwe and Nigeria laid out plans for the collection of tax from e-commerce and digital companies such as Netflix, Google, YouTube, and Amazon. According to the Rwanda Revenue Authority, a proposal has been presented before the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning from where it will undergo several procedures before implementation if approved. The Deputy Commissioner General of Rwanda Revenue Authority said, when you pay for services such as Netflix, you are using money that you have generated in Rwanda. So we are asking, why don't we collect VAT on these services, yet they are being paid for by our citizens. If you pay $12 a month for Netflix, why don't we keep some of that amount at the source here? Well, Rwanda is not going to be the first, as I read for you from that article. Nigeria and Zimbabwe have already um, started taxing people for using this online um, companies like YouTube, Google, and Netflix or Amazon. Well, to be fair, um, European countries also do the exact same thing. They tax Amazon, um, even though Amazon is not a European country, they still make them pay, uh, which is understandable. But for me, it's like, uh, do I have to be the one that is paying? Why can't you just take it from Netflix or take it from Amazon? They're the ones that are, uh, that have the money, right? Like, I'm already paying tax for the job I'm doing. If I'm an employee, if I have a business, I'm already paying tax. I'm a taxpayer citizen in that country. So like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm taking it like as uh, taking it personally, but at the same time, I also in a bigger scale, I understand why governments need to do that. Because if those companies, it could be an American company, it could be a European company, if they're really taking out money from my country, I might as well get tax money and it's only fair, I get it. But individually, like when you think about it, people already pay tax for being an employee, for owning a business. And then now on top of that, all these online services that they are using, they have to pay tax for everything. It might be a bit too much, but again, I understand as a government how that makes sense. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about uh, countries in Africa deciding to tax uh, companies like Amazon, Netflix, and Google. I am Ogil Zalal, I'm bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.